guys welcome to my channel and if you're just stumbling across this video then welcome to my channel and hopefully you'll hit subscribe my name is Chloe and I'm finally doing a video that's been highly requested over my Instagram if you're not following me already it's at all Chloe Rose and it is how I edit my Instagram photos so I'm constantly getting messages from you guys and asking and most of the time I do get back but it's always hard to put it across in text because my editing style is always changing um, I'm always adding something new or doing something a bit different but if you do follow me I'll put my feed up here you'll see that my photos aren't crazy edited at all so I'm going to show you how I get to that final image um, and how I do edit them but like I said it's always changing so I'm just going to show you sort of like the gist of it and the apps I use to create my photos and my content and stuff like that a lot of my photos I always shoot in natural lighting as you'll probably see um, as I find it a lot easier to edit so if you want to see how I do it then keep on watching Okay, so I'm just going to go into my photos as I just did my recent trip to Rome. So I'll edit one of those photos with you guys so you can see how I do it. So let's pick this image. I always shoot my pictures and then I'll go through them and favourite um, the ones that I really like and then I'll pick through them. So as you can see here, there's just like a few that I favourited. Um, but I really quite like this one where I'm looking to the side and you can kind of see the details of the outfit in this as well. So I firstly always go into Facetune. And I use Facetune 2, so I'm just going to go and find the image, which is this one, I think. Yeah, this one will do. So I always firstly go in with the retouch, and as much as people try and play it down, we all probably use the smooth tool here and there. So I'm just going to smooth out my legs a bit, just where it looks a bit like uneven and shady. I've always got this birthmark here at the bottom, so I never smooth that out as... That's just part of me. And then just move out any little bits and here on my chest where it looks a bit uneven where I've like tanned and not tanned. And my fake tan was sort of running out by the end of the holiday. So just slightly smoothing over a little bit of my face. But I still want to obviously keep the features and the highlight here so you can see that. And then I go in with a detail tool. So I just want to bring the detail of the earrings, the glasses, my lips here, maybe a bit of the highlight my hair and the bun, like I'm literally just tapping this so lightly to bring the details out ever so slightly. Um, and then obviously the little scooter here, bring out the mirror and stuff like that. So that's literally it on there. So that's my friend texting me. So I'm going to go back with smooth actually and just smooth out some of these creases in the shorts. Because obviously I didn't have an iron at my hotel room. But I really like these shorts, they're actually from House of CB, so I'll link them below. And this top um, is also House of CB, I love this little outfit. So that is it, so if you click tick, you'll see before, it's really not a massive difference. And after, it's so slightly that it's just been smoothed out a bit. Sorry if I'm twitching my nose a lot, I'm literally suffering with hay fever so bad right now. So I've hardly edited that at all, as you can see, it's very, very slight. I've just sort of brought the details out a bit. I might actually go in with the retouch button and use the whiten and maybe just whiten up this scooter a little bit so it pops up against the background. So as you can see, I'm just dragging my finger along and whitening the bits that are already white. That was it before and it's just sort of made it pop a little bit. So press tick on that. And then I'm just going to save this image to my camera roll and that's pretty much it for Facetune. I don't do much more on there, I do it quite small edit, and then I go into Visco, let's find the image here, and then I, these are kind of like the filters that I like, I kind of only ever use HB1, and if you see, I bring it so down that it's hardly kind of got a filter on it, so it is a kind of bit pointless in me doing it, I just always like my um, photos to be kind of cool tones, so this puts that cool tone to it, um, and I'm going to put that to about 1.4, so tick it, that was it before when I'm pushing down, that's it after, it's a very, very slight difference, it's just kind of made the image a little bit more warm, next, save it, okay, and then this is where I mainly edit my photos, and this is in Lightroom, and if you have an iPhone, you can actually get Lightroom for free, which is great, I also pay for Lightroom over on my laptop as well, and I'm editing sort of like my blog photos, and more like sort of raw, um, high quality image, okay, so this is my Lightroom, I've imported the image here, obviously the one that I've already uploaded to my Instagram is there as well, so I'll kind of show you how I can copy and paste my edits over, and I'll also show you how I can create it from scratch as well, so this is the image that I'd already posted on my Instagram, so you can go here, this little three icon, press copy settings, and this is sort of just copying the edit that I've already done in this photo, tick it, 
slide across the one that's not edited, click that again and click paste settings. And as you can see, it's just copied those settings onto the photo. So this is so much easier if you've got sort of the same photo and you want to continually edit it the same way. So I actually did a swipe across link for this because I put this photo with it as well. So as you can see, the edit on this is the exact same, so it just makes the images flow. This is what I love about Lightroom, that you can just copy and paste your settings and you can create that sort of preset and how you want to create it and uh, make it the same on each image, which kind of makes your Instagram feed then flow more. So that's how I copied and set, um, pasted it. So I'm just going to actually go back... Okay, so I've just imported the image again because obviously I had already copied and pasted the settings. So I want to show you how I actually do that from scratch. So I go into light first and I'll just change sort of like the brightness and the contrast and stuff. So this doesn't really need a lot of brightness because it's got a lot of light there anyway. And then I'll up the contrast to sort of bring out the details. And then I normally put my highlights down. Depending on the photo, it's always different, depending on the lighting and the outfit and stuff. Shadows here can probably come up a little bit, just slightly, so 0 0.3. And then I'll bring the whites down, and I'm kind of going to bring the blacks up a little bit, because I don't want the image to be too dark, so maybe just plus 2. And then, as I said before, I like my images to be sort of like a cool tone, so I always bring the temperature down. I would say like minus 2 is kind of the point that I always go to. If the image is really warm, like if it's been in like... Um, sunlight or a sunset light or anything like that then I'll bring it down um, even more but I think two or three is great here and then I, all my pictures I sort of add a pinky tone to them as well as you can see though it's so slight like you wouldn't even be able to tell I don't like to edit my pictures a lot at all so I'm just going to put this to about plus three and then bring out the vibrance here and maybe desaturate a bit because I feel like I'm looking a bit orange. So this is the bit where you can really manipulate the colours in your photo. So I go into the mix tool here and this is the red. So this is kind of like the red and pinks and the luminance you can kind of make this pink if you can see it's really changing the pink on how far up or down I go. So this is kind of like a really baby pink um, top so I'm going to desaturate it a little bit and bring the luminance so it makes it a bit more brighter. And then I kind of like to take the yellows out of my um, photos, again to keep it quite cool, so I'll bring the yellows down quite a bit here. And then the, you can't really see the sky in this photo, but if there was a sky in this photo then I'll play around with the blues to bring that out as well. Um, and then this orange here, this is where you can kind of play around with your tan. So I'm going to desaturate it just too, so I don't look orange, but then if you bring this luminance down, it gives you a really nice tan. I mean, you can go like really deep, but I just think that looks stupid. Um, I like to keep my photos quite natural. So I'm just going to go around here, and that's giving me actually quite a nice sort of like deep tan and sort of overall colour. So that's all the colours really in that photo and then I'm going to go into detail and sharpen the image just to bring it out a little bit and then here in noise reduction this sort of just smooths everything over so I'll bring that up very slightly and that is my image. That was before and that was after and that's just me editing it. Sat here really quickly with you. I'll probably actually maybe just bring the blacks up a bit because I don't really want it to look too dark. But yeah I'm really happy with that image and you can see the before and after and it's just so simple me editing that. And then I'll just go here, save to camera roll. And then what I do after this is I'll then plan it out into my feed. So I have an app here called Unum. And as you can see here, this is one that I'm going to be uploading. So my last photo was this one that I posted to Instagram. And these two photos next to it, this one needs editing and also this one, which is very similar to one I edited, it's just more close in, so it shows you the detail of the top. So if you're watching this video, I might not have already uploaded these photos yet, so you've got a bit of an insight. But I always like to play around on here and you can change the photos around how you want to move them. As you can see, I already uploaded that photo here. And then you can just play around with your feed and sort of plan it out. And that's how I schedule all my content and make my feed sort of flow and put all the colours together. Okay guys, as you can see that is sort of how I edit my photos, it's not crazy, there's not a lot to it, I like to keep them quite natural I guess, but just bring the tones down to make it a bit cooler, and obviously bring the pops of colour out into my outfits, and maybe just make myself a little bit more tanned. Um, and just to show you something else that also on Lightroom that you can do, obviously I've shown you how you can copy and paste a preset. Okay, so if you go onto the Lightroom app, you can actually slide across here, and you can see where it says presets. 
this top one called bogey don't ask my boyfriend thought he was funny and decided to make it obviously no one would want to use that it's just a green disgusting color preset but this just shows you um you can actually like buy presets or a lot of people share them like i've been to events before and people have sent me presets but i don't really use them i just use my own as i've shown you i build it from scratch or just copy and paste from a picture that i've already used um but there's some on here that you can put on your photos and also this would then make it consistent. This one every day is my one which I've already shown you which you can see. It just brings out the colours and it keeps it quite natural. And these are all other ones that I have downloaded before or like people have sent me on trips. And as you can see they're more like extreme edits. Um, these are sort of travel um, edits and obviously these are going to look nicer in travel locations. That's what they're meant for. Um, but there's so many types of presets you can get. I just kind of wanted to show you how you use them. Um, but I don't use these ones specifically. They're just there as kind of like, I guess, a backup. And then you can still play around with these. Um, but that's how you put a preset on a photo as well. So obviously that was before, that's after with the crazy preset. But that's not really my style. But I just kind of wanted to show you, like I said, how to use it. That is everything guys and I hope this video gives you a little insight now on how to edit and if you have any questions over on Instagram I'll lead you back to this video because it's so much easier to sit and watch it rather than like type it out on text and as I said it's always changing so yeah this is how I edit my photos and I hope you like it and if you did then please give this video a like it will mean a lot and I'll be coming back with a lot more so make sure you hit subscribe as well but until next time guys I will see you then.